My mother said that I was holy. My father said that I would burn. My mother said I was an angel. My mother, my father said I would turn. So I believed these words as I turned on myself. Because maybe he's right. Maybe I'm worthless. Or maybe he's wrong. And my mother was right. I got a killer in me to give me purpose. Custom creator here. Yeah, that was the lyrics to the very first verse. Um, I'm Danny Lee, OGT. That's OGL. He's looking up some information on the song, or the band, actually, the discography. This song is for a buddy of mine, Buck. Buck drives a truck. <laughs> um, we know, we've known Buck for a while. But we're both in the charismatic voice, and I think that's where we met, but I don't remember meeting there. He's an OG member of the Discord, been there for a long time. So <coughs> this one's for you, Buck. He's always been a big fan of In The Moment, Paramore, some of these bands, um, some of the best rocking ladies out there. I think Art Enemy, which we have a song to do by them, but we haven't made it there yet. So the in-between makes me think off gate of the upside down. Uh, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a nerd for Stranger Things. That reminded me of my childhood in the 80s with the digital stuff. So anyway, we will uh, I'll read the lyrics, and he will have some discography soon. As you heard in the beginning, my mother said that I was holy. My mother said that I was holy. My father said that I would burn. My mother said that I was an angel. My father said I would turn. So I believed these words, and I turned on myself. Because maybe he's right. Maybe I'm worthless. Or maybe he's wrong, and maybe my mother is right. I got a killer in me to give me purpose. Oh, I could feel a holy war. I could feel a holy war within. No, I can't take a holy war. No, I can't take a holy war again. Is this what you wanted? I'm going to bring a little hell. I'm going to bring a little heaven. You just keep wanting more with your blood and you and your whore. I'm going to bring a little hell. I'm going to bring a little heaven. It's a beautiful tragedy. You want to be sick like me? Because I can bring a little hell. I was told that I was nothing. Yeah, I was told that I was so pure. I was told that I was dirty. I was told that I was secure. I asked myself, am I God or shit? Am I the high below? Am I fucking worth it? And I ask myself, am I the love or hate? Are you the reason? You are the reason I have and why I can't quit. Oh, I can feel a holy war. I can feel a holy war within. No, I can't take a holy war. No, I can't take a holy war again. Is this what you wanted? I'm going to bring a little hell, bring a little heaven. You just keep wanting more with your blood and your whore. I'm going to bring a little hell, bring a little heaven. It's a beautiful tragedy. You want to see me? You want to you want to be sick like me? Because I can bring a little hell. A lot of in-betweens. This is what you wanted. That same verse again, a lot of in-betweens. So very interesting lyrics. Um, you will have to unmute yourself, OGL. All right. I am back with a bit of information here. So in this moment, is an american rock band they're actually from la california we uh we will not hold that against them mm -hmm. but they were founded in 2005 they have eight albums uh their most recent one was actually released this year and their first one was released in 2007 so they've been doing this for almost 20 years um this song is actually from 2020's uh, mother album other than that, it's good. It, they've uh, they've been pretty well received. They've uh, won some awards. Uh, they've actually they were nominated for a Grammy in uh, 2021. They uh, were nominated for the Alternative Press Music Awards in 2017. So they're alternative uh, yeah, rock. That. I'm sorry. So they're alternative rock. They're the. Uh, Wikipedia just describes them as a rock band. 
uh, in 2010, their vocalist Maria Brink won the uh, <laughs> Revolver Golden God Award for Hottest Chick in Metal. So, Revolver, man, Maynard's, yeah, no, yeah, it's tool stuff. I mean, tools with Revolver's all I'm saying. So, yeah, I love it. So, uh, Epica R2, that Revolver ad is what I said. Hey, I've seen someone with Maynard. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It's yeah. for Revolver. Yeah. All right, so um, let's get in this moment, the in-between. By the way, this is a video, and I may have to put some shit over it. <laughs> I've already uh, got us yeah. over a good bit. So yeah. if I do, I do. I'm sorry, guys. Let you know it's all about the music, though, really. Trying to be, I can feel it building tension. That's a cool picture. What do you think, OGL? Uh, um, my first thoughts were this would actually fit relatively well into uh, the show Stranger Things, uh, which I heard you mention in your intro. Uh, I like the electronic elements. Uh, the atmosphere, the beginning was really atmospheric, uh, very ominous the sounding. Echo. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the the distortion. Uh, the distorted effect on her uh, voice kind of added to that creepy atmosphere. Uh, and it was sort of interesting when they backed off on the distorted effect, it was difficult to tell because she was engaging a lot of distortion, I guess organic distortion in her voice at the time. And right now that's what's impressing me is that she's going very fluidly in between a very heavily distorted sound and a very clean sound and never sticking with one for any uh, sustained period of time. I cannot speak for some reason. But, so, I did. Definitely <laughs> feels like the intensity is about to pick up. Um, and my tongue yeah. is like in between words. But yeah, um, I like I'm the glad. imagery. The original mm. picture looked like almost a rooster comb with the hands. So now it's almost like a frill. So yeah, interesting visual imagery to go with some very interesting music. You, How about see, you? you see, you see the hands coming up around her face yep. too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yep. My poster back there's got hands. You know, that's her. That's her channel banner. Um, classic. Yes, alternative two thousands rock and roll, brothers. This is it. This is just as good as any of it. Why have I not heard you girls? I mean, I've heard every damn thing else in two thousands. I feel like I should have heard this. This is classic. This is this is good, man. This is before 
everything split into five million different damn subgenres. Right before, actually. This is when it started. Um, and there's nothing really wrong with that. It's just, it was easier to listen to music when you didn't have to divide it in like everything else in the damn world. Also, but, the thing about it is, um, I realize we shout out the charismatic voice a lot, but we love them. We love Elizabeth and Kirk to death. They just did a post where it asked what your favorite subgenre of metal was. And I think she gave like seven options. And the first comment I read, I just saluted because he basically said, if we could all agree on what those mean, first of all, that would yeah. be a great start. Because as you mentioned before, symphonic metal, prog metal, all of those things mean different things to different people. So let's just say that I, this does sound very 2000s. I will agree with you there. This is alternative uh, but, rock, brother. Yeah. It's just, it's just it. a very cool combination of uh, metal and or electronic elements and uh, a very uh, versatile voice uh, stuck in there. I love, the, I love the contrast of heaven and hell and the mm -hmm. lyrics. What was I, you know, was I born good? Was I born bad? These are things we all ask ourselves. Yeah. Maybe not this, all this imagery all at once, but it is deep down. This is what we all crave to want to know. Yeah. So the I commend them for putting internal, it into visual and sonic. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck ever he said. <laughs> now you go, man. Let's do it. copyrighted we're going to stop it a lot because <laughs> right. i'll dispute it if i have to um so the, the visual part I, I i love the the almost like mimes in a way but they're they don't have faces it's just hands so essentially you've got a whole cast of characters there but you only got one face so that's kind of genius really and the the absolute black background with the red and the white i mean there's not a whole lot more contrast in, in her being white as she can be and also the imagery there the paint maybe that in this scene that's paint i think on her hands accentuates more white to battle the red with the black it's just beautiful balance what do you think oh jill Yes, you've probably got me uh, analyzing like the the color contrast in this just this still right here. It's like you said, black and red is always a really cool uh, color combination, and that usually refers to uh, black. Usually refers to to darkness, ambiguity, the unknown. Red is usually passion or you know violence, blood, that sort of well, thing. Mustangs, black and red. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, she's wearing white. She has, uh, uh, like her hair looks silver, and she has very fair skin. So she like, looks very angelic amongst all of that black and red. Um, like you said, it's a really well-designed uh, video as far as its color palette. Uh, 
just uh, even the random imagery they use, the people like in the, uh, the figures in the sheets, and even like it looked like the band members or had some sort of uh, makeup going on. It's a very uh, visually striking video. Uh, and definitely. Will. Bait... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Let's go. Go ahead. Go ahead. He, he can't see me the way we got it set up right now, so he can't tell when I'm trying to talk. So we talk over each other, not being dicks. <laughs> um, so the bass coming in there with like a techno sound again, boom, boom. And it kind of had like a Resident Evil game sound, like, mar, mar. Nope, like on top of that ain't yet. But <laughs> um, I, I, I love that. And then when they hit you with that wall of sound and, and the way she's singing the, the beautifully dark, sadistically calm lyrics. <laughs> love it. It's yeah, just, uh, um, I was going to say, it's when well. the chorus kicks in, and if, like you said, I've got that wall of sound going. I like how she alternates between being a part of that wall of sound with a lot of distortion in her voice and sort of drifting above it when she goes into her clean sound. Yeah, they're they're really really good. Uh, um, I have heard a few songs, but it's been a while when you know when uh, me and Buck would hang out in the music lounge. So, um, now his windshield <laughs> loved it, still do. So. Yeah, uh, I've been wanting to. I was supposed to listen to this a long time ago before I was even doing music reactions. It's back when I was still going to graveyards. <laughs> you know, like, that's a really interesting visual right there. With like, yeah, the man, black hell yeah, have, yeah. Like, the dark red. I seen that in the graveyard, I'd run. Yeah. They're all females, too, ain't they? It's a lot of Medusas. No, yeah, maybe not, cool. man. I don't know. I'm just saying. For whatever reason, I don't know. I just gave me sort of like a devil's reign type vibe. So bonus points to anyone who understands that reference. But I didn't. Nonetheless, like I said clearly whoever uh, made this video has uh, watched a few horror movies in their time. Yeah, I was just thinking about my vision in my head. It looked better with girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a stomp in and just say that was cool as shit. Hmm. Oh my god, that is crazy as hell. Hmm. I swear I ain't trying to bring tool into something. You swear it reminds me of my damn poster. Oh. <laughs> oh, she looks like she would cast a spell on your ass. Turn the light on, turn it back off. <laughs> It's a beautiful tragedy Oh, shit, mother, 
don't want to stop. I know this is a video, man. Mm. The band members were cool. This is like Blair Witch, but cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Because this is, this is cause the Blair Witch front of the metal band, yeah. And look, I ain't taking nothing away from the girl. I like some of her stuff, some of her stuff I don't. But I think Billy Eilish ripped the hell out of the look from this lady right here. Billy Eilish. I mean, damn. I mean, if you've ever seen it, how could she That's not? Good. This is uh, way yeah. before her. Yeah. I mean, it looks like to me it's carbon copy. But anyway, I ain't. sorry, Billy. I'm getting your feelings. I was told that I was of times when they would have like the four people that are like in the ring of fire uh if you notice like the pe people in the middle almost are formed in like a cross formation but the ring of fire itself it's not a, a this is for you danny a perfect circle but it almost looks like a heart so i'm not sure if that was intentional but either way a very cool visual this is what i want to know so i used to live up in maine i would walk through the woods all the time i've been on my fair share of uh, walks through forests and whatnot at no point in time did any hot crazy woman ever pop out of the forest <laughs> is it just the wrong forest like at first i thought it was maybe european forest but you know they're from california so i don't know just i feel like i'm doing something wrong because it's almost like music videos are lying to me. but anyway her voice um like i think it's very cool but even if someone didn't like it, you can't accuse her of lacking effort. She's certainly not lazy with her vocals. Like every sound that comes out of her mouth is stylized in some way, shape, or form. If it's not being electronically processed, she's either uh, using fry or she's doing some like sliding stuff that I don't have the uh, vernacular to properly describe, or she's again going in in and out of a, a harsher sound. Uh, yeah, she has got a very impressive. Uh, range uh, with her with her vocals, and uh, I do feel bad for the band because when you have a singer like that who's you know a powerhouse singer and easy on the eyes, it's going to be hard for the band to get any uh, notice. But I don't think they're doing anything particularly advanced. But they are turning up a fantastically dark and chunky wall of sound for who to for her to do her thing. So, yeah, I, noticed, I noticed the drummer has come to life here in the last minute. Uh, a lot more mm, feels, yeah. a lot more yes. double bass. I mean, mm. the drummer I've just paid attention to for the first time. Not, you know, the drummer is standing out for one. So, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the vocal fry, the, I think she's like, she's almost going into a harsh vocal, but, but not. Mm -hmm. It's, a lot of distortion, but um, but she's keeping it real. It's just straight up singing. Um, 
I don't know. I haven't heard them live, but um, I, I don't think this will be the last time we listen to them soon. No, I hope not. Yeah, they've got. Oh, sorry. Sorry, man. Like I said, they've got eight albums worth of material, so. I am. It would be interesting. So, guys, if there's anyone in there that can let us know in the comments, is this typical of their sound? Is this uh, an evolution? Just, uh, yeah, let us know where this stands as far as their uh, their usual material. Because it's, it's fascinating. I miss this kind of music. I do. Yeah. Not too overly technicated. Technicated. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Te- See? Actually, that actually does kind it's of make rocks, sense. fucking man. Yeah. <laughs> that, it, it does. Like, I couldn't say it's it again. It's got atmosphere. It's got heaviness. It's, it's really cool. I'm gonna bring a little. I'm gonna bring a little. Just keep wanting more. We all know that you're. I'm gonna bring a little. I'm gonna bring a little. It's a beautiful track. Copyright, sorry. I noticed this there's a seven string guitar there, so that's where that oh. we just, I we just heard it come in right there. Yeah, really, mm-hmm. really deep. Deep, like make house the chain seem like they got a capo, you know. And I love chains. <laughs> My favorite band probably next to tool. But yeah, I just wanted to stop it for YouTube. Maybe I want to put filters on this because this video is really good. Um yeah, yeah, the video is uh, really well done. Again, this is use of color in particular stands out. Again, like this is all red here, but the masks are white, and then her hair and her skin are white, and um, it kind of appears that her hands are on fire. Yeah, so, she's, this ain't the first time she's been pulling flames. No, she had them earlier. I'm not, sure what, <laughs> I'm not sure what she's been doing, but yeah, some soothing cream might uh, might help that out. It's cool how the dresses are red now. The hands are gone, except for the one. I don't know if that's that chick's hands, but there's some hands back there. Yep, I definitely <laughs> see them, yeah. We'll say goodbye for everything. I'll do nothing. Copyright issues. Yep. That was it. Well, I'm sold. Yeah. I need to to learn her name. Uh, Her name is Maria Brink. Maria Brink. And you said this was 2021? Yes. This is 2020. Wow. Um, why don't they play this on the radio? I'm sorry? Maybe they do. Why don't they play this on the radio? I mean, uh, I don't listen to the radio a lot. They might play it on the radio. I don't know. Why don't I have this in my damn rotation? Well, I will now. So, yeah, I'm really go. impressed. It also sort of looks like on the thing here, they've got a song with Rob Halford from Judas Priest. That's a fantastic passing of the torch. Yeah. Moment, if it is, you know the uh, the old guard giving his uh, blessing, if you will, to the uh, the new. Uh, but no, like her, she's definitely the real deal. I've uh, got all kinds of uh, variations and uh, techniques at her disposal. A great screen presence. Uh, again, video is very stunning. It's really striking. Yeah. I love the use of. I love when videos use color like that. Uh, so I got to thank you for bringing that to my attention. Um, you did. <laughs> but, I just know uh, again, if there's any, it, anything else from this band that yeah, comes from band here. Is, comes. Uh, heavy, it's melodic, it's atmospheric. Ah. Yeah, they've got it going on. I would love to do more. 
Buck, thank you for the suggestion, brother. Oh, thank you, Buck. Much appreciated. Hopefully there won't be a bunch of writing on it that says I got to blur you out. <laughs> Keep fingers crossed. Uh, Thumbs up. Yeah. As, uh, no, in hell, this moment, we are on the brink of monetization, and we don't want to mess that up. So. Yeah. I ain't worried about that. Yeah, I'll dispute it. Not got rights. <laughs> All right. So, um, uh, mental health is real. I suffer from it. And I like to advocate or at least make people aware and, you know, try to, um, see through all the bullshit people to the people that really need help. And yeah, it's a problem. If we don't start now, then tell me how. So, uh, camaraderie, brotherhood. Friendship, love, these are the things that matter, I think. So use them to our advantage. Thank you, Joe, for joining me, bud. Uh, it's been a pleasure, sir. Guys, take care of yourselves so you can take care of each other. Music is always your best support group. And, guys, it's the last day of September. October's in here. That means autumn. That means Halloween. So all sorts of fun is just waiting to be had. So thank you guys for uh, stopping by. Lots more cool stuff coming. Thanks for uh, giving me a ring, Danny. This has been uh, all sorts of... See, again, phone terminology. Giving you a ring. You gave me a beep. Basically. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for bringing me here, brother. <laughs> OGL, OGT. Howdy. <laughs>